Hey guys, today's my first unboxing. Um, this is the Otterbox Defender Series uh, for the iPod Touch 5th generation, as you can see right there. And this is the Glacier color. So let's just dive in. It has all this stuff about protection and screen protector and stuff like that. Pull this little flap. And then this little tray just slides right out. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but there we go. And here it is. It's nice and Thick but not too thick, and um, there's also this loop which I'll show up down there. Let's see if there's anything else. Yeah, this stuff out our box stuff. I need that. Um, but yeah, here's the case. Um, so let me put my iPod in this. As you can see, I have the 5th generation silver, 64 gb so I'm going to this one here, I'm going to try to take this lower on this, get a fingernail, put it around in there, try to pop it apart from the uh, plastic cover, and then I'll just start sliding off. I'm going to pull these rubber tabs out so they don't tear off. And then so you slide it down like that and the rubber will just pop off. And then to take the actual plastic apart, there are these little um, uh, little clip things. You just need to separate them. It's pretty much the same as in the other out of box case. So you just pop them apart. I don't know why people always say they're so hard to take apart. I mean, it's kind of hard to take apart with one hand, but they're pretty easy. You just kind of pop them out like that. So there's all this like padding and stuff. It has a nice little window for the Apple logo right there. And so I'm just gonna, I'm actually recording this with my iPod, so I'm just gonna put this in. Okay guys, so now the iPod Touch is in the back plastic panel. Um, and so now I'm gonna put the front panel with the clear uh, screen protector on. And I'll show you in the mirror because I'm actually recording with my iPod, but um, so here it is. And there's three of those little things just uh, that clip together. Like I had to unclip to open it in the first place. So you just go around the corner, you'll hear hear like a snap, and you just snap them in place. There's one on top, one on bottom, three along each side. And so let's clip them in. Okay, so now we have it in the two plastic pieces. So now I'm just gonna put this rubber piece on. Um so I'm gonna show you. So here's the rubber piece. And you just want to uh, just want to slide the iPod into the, rubber, the bottom of the rubber piece right there, and then just push the rubber around the edges all the way around, and then they like kind of just like fold in. and stuff you can just kind of like push in and slide your finger alongside and then just want to push the home button and you can't really see it but push these two things to cover the um to cover the uh lightning connector and earphone jack 
and then so now it's all put together. This is what it looks like. This is the front and and here's the back. It's really nice because there's this plastic thing over the Apple logo. But you can still see the logo. And it leaves all the camera stuff open. And it has the auto box right, right there. So yeah, back's really nice. Okay guys, so here's the lanyard loop that came with the Autobox Fender series. Um, and I believe they do come in different colors depending on like the case, the color of case you get. Um, but it's really nice because it's kind of like a camera lanyard. You just like, put that, loop that through and you just put your wrist through and then uh, you can slide this little plastic piece this plastic piece from there up so now it like bumps, it'll tighten on your wrist um, but yeah so now I'm going to put it on the actual case I took my iPod out so I can record this a lot easier but um, there is that little part right there on the, the Fender series case so what you do is you get this the loop and focus it. What you want to do is you want to get the loop you want to bend it in half and push it through and it'll just pull through the other side and then then what you want to do is you want to get the end of the lanyard and Pull it through here. It's a lot easier to do with two hands, but um, yeah. So you, so you just want to pull it through and it'll slide like that. So now it's on there. There's no way it's falling off. It's just, it's really, it's a lot better than the one that actual iPod count came with. But um, yeah. So overall, this case is really like sturdy. Like, you can, like people have dropped it from 20 stories and it hasn't broken their iPhones and stuff but um, I wouldn't suggest that <laughs> but um, so it's really sturdy um, the screen protector doesn't really affect it that much um, it's same quality video and stuff um, there is a little bit of an air bubble sometimes there is sometimes they're not um, but sometimes there's a little bit of air space between the iPod and the screen protector because the iPod is so thin um, but again like it doesn't affect the quality and you just have to make sure you get all the dust out from underneath it. Hey guys now I'm going to show you the iPod in its case and running and stuff um, but yeah here it is. Um, so it's really easy to change the volume. You can see the volume rockers down there. Little buttons. Here's the power button, also just really easy to press, um, uh, as well as the home button, and um, yeah. Okay guys, so this has been a review for the iPod Touch 5th generation R-Box Defender Series, uh, the color is Glacier. Um, it's, I believe, $40 on rbox.com, and I actually got mine for $30 on Amazon. Um, so you can just go check it out, and if you like the video, um, just give it a thumbs up, and subscribe. Um, if you want to see more videos, uh, reviews of my iPod, or iPod cases, or anything like that, just post a comment, and also, I was using this iPod, uh, with a screen protector on it, so it does work, if you already do have a screen protector on. Um, so yeah, that's my review.